Entertainment is sponsored by Cliffside Malibu Treatment Center. Welcome back. Well, she's an Emmy winning costume designer. She's designed all of Ariana Grande's costumes for her current world tour. And she was behind one of the biggest shows of 2015. Check this out. Remember the costumes for the Katy Perry Super Bowl halftime show? How including could you those, forget? those infamous shark get ups. That's the work of our guest today, Marina Toybina. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. No, so, thank you for having me. Let's just start off. Tell us about the, the sharks. Um, How did that happen? Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's a huge collaboration, as it should be. So, you know, it starts out with Katie, of course, and then the creative director, and then the team is a kind of come together and then it comes down to the costume designer to put it all together so it's a huge group effort. You created this huge almost like cartoons come to life is how I would describe it. I don't know what the original vision was. Right. Beach balls, sharks, you had a whole bunch of cast of characters but did you have any idea that these sharks were going to take off as an internet sensation like they did? No I, I mean to be honest with you I still haven't watched the show you know <laughs> okay. being there on the sidelines and making sure everything goes smoothly I think is the prime time goal, but um, this is a group photo. Yes, that oh, was right the before chess pieces, right? the chess pieces, right? That was designed for the dark horse. A lot of pressure friends. when you're talking about the Super Bowl, right? I mean, it is for me. It was my first one, so yeah. it was exciting, and it was so great to be part of um, Katie's world for something like this. And it was an outstanding show. So, I mean, number one watched, and just everything behind it, the teams behind it, were incredible. Tell us about the process because I was shocked to find out you didn't have months and months to no. prepare a show of that scale. How does it start out and what do you get thrown in your lap? And um, the, the whole process I think took us a little under a month and um, once you're in that kind of time frame you can't go wrong. You know and of course mistakes will come up but creatively you kind of force yourself to be in the zone make sure everything works and I'm just so blessed that I have such an incredible team behind me. Now you went to FITM, right? The Fashion did, Institute, yes. which is very well known in downtown. Right. And then you come out of FITM with your degree and tell us a little bit about how you move through Hollywood to get and where you are you're today. Lost. You get the degree and you have no idea what's going on. But um, I started out with my own line um, right when right. I was still in my last semester at FITM. Um, that lasted for about a few months and then from there slowly it started um, I mean, it was trial and error, and it was a lot of like years, 15 years How'd of work. How you get it to stay? 15 it years of work. Yeah, that it took to kind of, from the very beginning of days for me, and to now, and to now, Ariana Grande. Yes. You design her stage costumes for her current tour. I did the current tour, yes. Which I mean, she's an adorable little girl. It's not. It's not very hard talented. to see. Very talented. I'm yeah. very, very proud of her. It seemed. Yeah. Go ahead. It's just, it's, it's always great when you can collaborate with people that you not only understand but support their vision. Does she come up with this type of style though or do you have ideas that you show her and? Um, it, once again, everything to me is a collaboration and I do truly love the artists that I work with. So I think you have to be on the same page creatively in order to fulfill and it, bring them to the next level. It seems like there's so much pressure though to do like the next biggest yeah. thing. I mean if you have 20 dancers in a 50 right. foot train then you got to have 100 dancers in a 100 foot train. And I, I mean every job I'm always nervous. That never goes away you yeah. know and it's like right away getting into something new. I sit there at night and I'm like oh here we go again you know and the nerves are there and the stress is there but I think creatively it's I fall into this world where it's just magically kind of comes together. You also work with so you think you can dance you have another season coming up yes. and Selena Gomez? Yes, that was um, a custom dress that we made for her performance with Dancing with the Stars. So I have to ask you, when you're dealing with stage costumes as opposed right. to regular, you have to take into account that many of these artists are dancing in them, right? Performing. Do you have to worry moving. about things falling out? Of course. I mean, um, are, some of them are like bikini tops, essentially. Functionality is the number one key. You know, you want them visually to stimulate the mm -hmm. audience, but at the same time making sure that everything goes smoothly. That's where I come in and making sure that the fabrics are proper, the construction is proper. Machines sewing versus hand stitching, everything is just such a process in order to get it just right for now. Okay, can, before we leave you, can you tell us right. a story about a celebrity that really you don't like? <laughs> I don't have one. No, I'm just teasing. No, I'm, I'm like, just I teasing. Never no. I wouldn't expect you to do that. No. no. So, she's so lovely. I'm sure she has a great time with all of them. Of course. That was yeah. really, thank you. No, thank you very much. Thank you.